time it is. Let me take a knee because the camera is zoom But look, um, the Savages, man, we is back in this mother lover. Um, back again with a segment. This time we is cooking with the Savages, even though uh, we don't have a real title. Um, I need for y'all to suggest some titles today. Um, when y'all see this video, suggest for because we're going to continue to do this cooking with the Savages. D A S A V A G E S 079. Y'all already know I rock it through and forward. And man, shout out to the game. Y'all know I'm coming. But um, today we cooking. Uh, what we cooking, man? Stuffed bell peppers. That's one. And chicken breast. Two. And that's it. Dang, keeping it nice and light. This loaded stuffed potato. I mean, wow. Dang, you want a baked potato on it? Anyway, loaded bell pepper sausage link. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they have, we had went to Publix the other day, and um, I've been seeing a lot of these people on um, Snapchat. People eating like they getting peppers, habanero peppers, putting takis in it, putting habanero hot sauce on it, and doing all this and eating the whole pepper and just doing everything that they want to do with it. And I like hot food, so I wanted to try it. So I went to Publix or whatever. The other day we went to Publix, so I was like, yeah, let's go try a habanero pepper. And uh, we should have got it on camera, but um, I ended up trying the habanero pepper just by itself. Now, I'm telling you, all these people, they've been putting hot sauce and all this Carolina Reapers and all that type of stuff. I can't wait till I can find it so I can test my taste buds. I'm focusing them. But anyway, um, and the habanero pepper hole in the stove. Wax peppers up there. It was green. Never heard of that one before. They had serrano peppers. We already tasted them. We always cook with those. That ain't nothing. Habaneros was the first thing, and then it was a new thing, I'm sorry. And then it was another pepper. I can't remember what it was, though. I'm going to start with it. See, like Cuban, Cubano, Cuban, 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 Cubaniani pepper. So anyway, um, I didn't try none of them other ones because I just feel like that was just out of my league and I just didn't understand what that was. So I went ahead and tried the habanero pepper. Two seconds later, I thought, bit it, you know, I ate all of it. He was like, well, you might as well just try the whole thing. Just try to see if you like it, if it's fresh, all this. And then the water cut on or whatever at the, um, at the produce. So I'm like, it's supposed to be water. He's like, yeah, so I rinse it off. <laughs> I rinsed it off of that my plan. Did just like that wrench. I wrenched it off. Anyway. Yeah, because one time it was bugs and I let it. Wash y'all vegetables and y'all fruits. This is Georgia. This is disgusting. Boy. I ain't even gonna lie. Anyway, I, I bit the habanero pepper. Eat it. Oh, 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 oh. Chew it on the right. At least about 10 seconds. Tears. But I was like, I love this. I love this. I know you're gonna poop it out, beep it out and everything, but I love this <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to give y'all a little backstory on the habanero peppers. We're gonna stuff those in a stuffing. So we're gonna stuff uh, a habanero pepper in a bell pepper with some, uh, what you got, jalapenos too? Jalapeno. We got jalapenos too, we got some spinach. Oh babe, we gotta keep it cooking with the savages. What? Those are my aunties. Y'all can see that? Cooking with the savages, so we probably gonna have to keep it like that. Might be some good oak. Alright, so we got the bell peppers, of course. I got a pack of two, but we might not need both. I don't know yet. Let's see. Maybe do I like both? The habanero peppers. This look like this. Sometimes they kind of orange. Real spicy. We got jalapeno peppers. Got some in a jar too, but these are fresh jalapeno peppers. Baby spinach. White onion. Then over here, we got brown rice. Okay. Garlic, which will be used for the chicken breast. Minced garlic, man. Minced garlic. And then the cream cheese and the Cheddar cheese will be used inside of the bell pepper. Now over here, we got some ground turkey and some chicken breast that didn't all the way thaw out, so I just got it. And some water. Might need to cool the water down a little bit so it don't cook while it's trying to thaw out. Oh 
All right. All right, so we're gonna get started. Um, first, Imantre is going to rinse off the vegetables and dice stuff up while I get the ground beef going and seasoned. Yes? Mm hmm Yeah. Let's go. So, I've been dicing for many years out here. On the block shooting dice. That's what our dice came from. I'm lying. I ain't never really shot dice for real like that. I mean, I can hit a seven here and there, but you ain't never gonna catch me. Hold on, that arm looking off. They better stop playing with the boy. Cut up. Anyway, uh. Before you cut those, let me tell you how to cut those. Uh, I guess uh, now I gotta get shown how to cut the dice or how to get right. Because if it was up to me, I did what I wanted to do. It is getting Wizzy Kelly because he'd be like this. <laughs> so you're going to. Now, when you guys are, are passing utensils that are sharp, you always pass on the back side, just like that. I want you guys to hear that back there, okay? Pass it on the back side. So you're going to cut off the top completely. Once you cut off the top, we're gonna leave that stuff. Right. And we're gonna yoke that out of there. We're gonna yoke it. Yeah. yeah. Just gonna kind of probably just do the three. Yeah. Good fault. Which one, the yellow one or red one? That's all gonna be trash. Um, everything else will get diced up very small. With these, leave it open. So that you can see. See? See, now we didn't we didn't took a couple shots uh, before we didn't got involved. So if you ever hear us say anything that ain't English, don't you say a damn thing. Only you be saying stuff that ain't oh I guess. That's at least a language. Yeah. We invented our own language back in the day. You invent your own language. I don't invent my own language. You see the hate? You and my mom. Oh my. She ain't had nothing to do with this. Just putting folks in it. What you saying? She be saying some stuff too. What you say? English. No. Spanish. No. Just give me some Spanish right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's the basic. That's that's pre pre level one. All right, answer it then. What did you ask? I said, hola, como estas? And then I would say, bien tu. <laughs> bien en tu. I see, I see. And I'd be like, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> all that all that other stuff, I didn't go to school to learn it. Nah, you Spanish three. I didn't know. I never said I took Spanish three. I said I took Spanish one. Almost went into two. I was in two for probably like a week. I was like, yeah, because uh, they be saying 60, 60 words to only say two words. They be doing it. They be like, hey, how you doing? Like, Come on, like, that's too much, bro. Like, I can't. No offense to everybody out there who speaks Spanish or part of the the Hispanic League. Um, we love y'all because folks over here is part Mexican. All right. I don't know if that's like racist. What's like racist? To, saying I'm part Mexican? Like saying Hispanic or Mexican. I mean, you, you definitely have to be careful of what you say because just because you're Mexican or just because you're Hispanic doesn't mean that you're Mexican. Hispanic means of the Spanish origin. 
Where you get that from? So you could be from like Cuba. You gonna say they Mexican? I mean like they no, something. they're Cuban. But if it was us. If they from Spain, you gonna say they Mexican? I don't know, are they? They could be from people no. that be in Spain that be. That's like saying, that's like me saying that you Nigerian. Are you Czechoslovakian? See, they ain't know I knew how to say that word. See, I've been doing this for a long time out there in um, 51st. Help, help, nah. Help. I'm really from 079. But I know Lucius Bethlehem Baptist Church over there on 55th. Yeah. Bishop Johnny, he gets up there. I ain't even no church on 55th, though. So we also have water boiling because... The brown rice has to cook. So, right now, again, he is cutting the insides of the bell pepper. I am getting the. Let me That's me. That's you. They're raw meat now, now. I'm getting the ground beef together. About to season it good. You put a little tea at the end. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, mm -hmm. I cut a hole on the side, but it's going to be good because all the juice is going to soak up in and close it up. How do you do that? Trying to cut the middle out. Everything going to sit up in So I use pretty basic seasonings. My mama told me when she came to St. Louis for our wedding that I had special seasonings, but I use basic stuff. So I'm about to use some crushed red pepper, minced onion, ground black pepper, onion powder, Himalayan pink salt, that's our new obsession. <laughs> and parsley, people say parsley don't have no flavor, but I like to give them a color. To a pop. A little pop. Paprika and garlic powder. You done? Am I, I'm cutting the onions next. Give me the dice yes, stuff. All of all of the stuff that's gonna go in there, so Onions and these peppers. The peppers have to be rinsed off too. It's getting a little toasty in here. I like toast. What you like on your toast? Um, um, I like butter and stuff on my toast, but I got introduced to this um this jelly that's jalapeno. I knew you was gonna say it. And Shout out to Granny Carol. Um, and my first time ever having some jalapeno jelly. You would never think as much as food as much hot food as I eat. You would never in a day, in two months, and three quarters, two decades. You would never have seen me mixing no jelly and no peppers. It don't sound like it does. It don't, but see, a lot of people like uh, sweet and spicy down. And is this good? Yeah, just put that up. <laughs> Are you good? I just don't like how that look enough. If baby cake says good, we're going to go with it. This is up the tray. We have throw everything out. I'm the king of that. Now, I ain't gonna sit up here and lie and say we ain't drunk no milk that was past that date. But nowadays, if that date is today, it's in the trash today. You gotta listen right now. They charge an arm and a leg for groceries. We got EBT. No, we don't. I wish. No, you don't. There ain't no EBT these ways. EBT, EBT, EBT. That's the fourth. That's 
then I'm gonna let the do this. Hold on now, hold on. Covid, Covid, Covid. Bless you. Thing on December. Bless you. Thank you. But a lot of people ain't like that though. They don't, they don't say nothing when you say bless you. Sometimes they don't think they blessed. I'm like, do you know your heart just stopped? You holding in your lung, kind of cleave all that? Your heart just stopped, so I'm tired. Um, me too. I'm still a bit sleepy. We pushed through because it's dedication. My view. I really be making him vlog, y'all. Cause I'm really just trying to stay faithful for a year and just see what happens. Listen, I'm trying to get that YouTube money. All it takes is consistency. That's what everybody be preaching. Consistent this, consistent that. They be doing it for 83 years though. We finna be the 84th year, be popped on. No, we G. Let's see what's two weeks. No, I'm just talking though. Consistency is key, guys. Persistence is key, guys. Who is definitely persistent? We're not even talking about it. We're not even getting into that. Who you talking about persistent in what? Pursuing me. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Cause she ain't even want me, shorty. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You had our eyes on somebody else. And I came and swoop. You came and swoop. First of all, I used to catch her um, when she used to walk to the gym. I used to be always thinking like, who she be on the phone with? She be on the phone with somebody for like three hours in the gym, <laughs> laughing. Don't even really be working out for real. I've been, I seen her. That's be a doing. lie, I was working out. You was on the, uh, what's some things called? The, the, um, I don't even know, bro. I was doing leg presses, <laughs> lifting the weights. <laughs> In the dance studio, getting my stretches going. Hey, I see. I couldn't get a bless you, and I just yeah. bless you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you good? I'm just talking. Um, I mean, I guess he used to work or whatever. I guess, but when I used to come past or see her, she wouldn't remember laughing on that phone. I'd be like, she's not even talking about nothing. She got mad or something. So I had to pursue. You know what I'm saying? But so let's also get into how she pursued me while I was pursuing her. Now, if you know me throughout college, we used to stay in a dance room 24 7. There was a lot of people that thought they can battle us, thought they was going to be able to ball us up, and we balled them up. We balled them up. One night we was all in there chilling, you know, whatever. I mean, everybody dispersed. Now, we. When I say we, shout out to my boy Hot Man. Shout out to my boy Will. Don't nobody know Hot. Anyway, um, we used to be in the dance room all night, live. You know what I'm saying? Because when we go to party, we shut shit down. I mean, I'm sorry. Excuse my French. We shut it down. So she leaves. Well, everybody leave. I'm, I'm still down there, cool and chilling. I'm on my way back to the room, right? So I get a, a, a DM on Instagram. Now, this is where it really started, so how she wanted to try to flip it on me, make it seem like I was the pursuer the whole time. <laughs> Folks send me a picture. Back in the day, Instagram, you had to send a picture to send a DM. I didn't even understand that part. Tell me some, um, do you see, do you see a charger down there? It's been hours now. It's been hours since folks have been downstairs. There's no charger nowhere around there. So I'm like, no, nah, I don't see no charge. I'm, I probably was like, you can see my charge if you need it, you know, just cause I, I am, you know what I'm saying? Just, anyways, um, she knew there was no charger downstairs. She had a charger right there the whole time with her next time. Cause her charger stayed right up on her bed. So anyway, um, that kind of what started. And I was like, no, nah, I ain't no charger. I mean, you can get my charger possibly or whatever. And then that goes from there. Then after that, you know, I get in the damn like, oh, you so, you so good looking, you so cute, you so fine. Let me, let me wind and dine, or whatever the case. Nah, you ain't say all that, man. All right, here we go, here we go. We probably ain't do no dates until we got it decent. I wasn't one of those type of, you know, I like the vibe, see if we cool and all that, and make, make me decent. Now, I can't 
Start off spending no money. I'd have took you to Chuck E. Cheese. We'd have got good what? enough, boy. I'm telling you, we'd have got good in Chuck E. But, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, that kind of pretty much started how it was. And then we just started seeing each other more throughout the, um, I guess, the day. And yeah, I was seeing each other, like, every day. Every day. Before we was really, like, really getting involved, we just kept running into each other. And if you know me, I catch a lot of people lacking walking downtown. So I used to see her walking to her class. I mean, speed walking. Like she had everything to lose. See, speed walking. So, do you want me to cut these up a little bit different? Or more finer? Yeah, that's small. Um, Even these can be cut a little small. And then ever since then, we just kind of been locking up. Or locking up. Locking in, watching movies. We used to do a lot of um, movie watching back in the day. Then I got to see if you got a nice personality, a nice sense of humor. Um, definitely one, two, three movie. Um, definitely one, two, three movies for sure. And then the link one working a lot of times. So I don't even know how we was watching a lot of movies, honestly. Now, if we was grown, grown, this would not be acceptable behavior. You gonna take it what it is. Netflix and chilling is not acceptable unless y'all are together. Okay. But you making it seem like we was Netflixing and, and the Netflix asking if we were still there. We was having a good laughing, wholesome time. <laughs> a lot of hot chips with hot sauce and um, what was it, Mountain Dew Pop. That was Sprite. the first time I had Crunchy Girls with you. You know what I'm saying? I bring a lot of, you know, mixers to the table. You know, I do a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Crunchy Curls, I put a lot of people on to a lot of mixes, of certain all stuff, right, man. Hold right. on, don't hate now. We, we talk about how the pursuits. We went on like a first mm -hmm. little, what was that, a first little date? Yeah, it was like a fancy restaurant. Man, what was, was that? That was the Valentine's Day one? Yep. First date, Valentine's Day. We went to, what was that place called? Uh, I don't know, it was Catch, 34 Catch or something, something like that, something downtown. Catch 35 or 34, one of the two. Um, went down there, you know, we you know, we was chilling or whatever. Um, and I had my pineapple at the time, you know, I had the hot top. And this guy, <laughs> this guy was bald head behind me. And he had on a decent suit jacket. If you know me, you know I like the suits, man. You know I like the suits. And I compliment him on his suit jacket. And he goes to say, man, I wish I had your hair, man. Because he had a head full of head, no hair, bald. But man, I wish I had your hair. And I'm like, man, you can take it. Give me that jacket. You know, I'm lying. I'm not cutting my hair, boy. You tweaking. But anyway, long story short, we get the bill or whatever. We got to pay it. Mug's like, yeah, you, you guys don't even have a bill. I'm like, what? He just walking out. He going to tip his hat or whatever he did. Folk pay for the dinner, man. I was like, man, that's God, because I only have about like 70 bucks on me. And this one in restaurants for your <laughs> meal about $70, $70 for like this much food. The food was fine. Food was good as the a The food blood. was fine. But it was, he was definitely probably going to be looking at them with, like, mind y'all, we in college. Like, come on now, we in college. He definitely probably was looking at the bill like... All right, we finna go wash some dishes or something. <laughs> we finna get involved. Ever since then, we just been locking in. Um, then I started to meet the family. I feel like when I first met the family, I met the whole family, and it was pretty much the graduation. Um, the whole family came down. I was just like, I wasn't ready. That was your part, too. Why you come to your little barbecue? I had a barbecue for the graduation. On 79th in um, Francisco, San Francisco. Shout out to Granddaddy Savage. If I was more of them, or more of us than it was of them. Bro, when I tell you, they brought the whole family. <laughs> Grandma, auntie, uncle, niece, nephew, brother, little brother of the brother, big sister of the big sister. It was just a lot of people that was out there, bro. And Hey, I am sweating. I'm like, hey, buddy, man, y'all, please just act, just act decent. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't come from no family. I was pristine and stuff. I come from the trenches, nigga. All right. Yeah. My family ratchet. If you know us, we ratchet. We love to turn up. We have a good time. Uh, we, man, we ghetto. I ain't, I ain't trying to hit it. 
Um, so I was like, man, can y'all please be all y'all P's and Q's, man? I'm, I'm nervous, man. And I think we had, I think we had a good time. Your mom was like, boy, shut up. Everybody was like, boy, shut up. That's everybody's favorite line back in the day. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. I'm trying to make a good impression. This first impression could be the last in impression. And people okay. didn't, people didn't understand that. But I guess I, I served my purpose. Because ever since then, they be always asking, where's Trey? Where's Trey? What's man? I ain't going nowhere without my Trey. So... Um, and hence where we at today, you know what I'm saying? Married, you know what I'm saying? Two kids, got a nice little house, and you know, we just doing our thing out here, man. Doing our thing out here, man. Doing our thing, man. Anyways. <laughs> we don't really have two kids. We have a dog and a cat, just to clear that up, because I know y'all getting that like, two kids? But if y'all know what y'all would. Y'all yeah, definitely thirsty for the kids. Y'all need to chill out because if y'all ain't gonna watch them, don't ask for nothing. Yeah, because I'm gonna need babysitters 24 7. I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be like, well, we know what world you live in. And then he's gonna be like 70. I'm not having no 70 year old nanny. Play them games around here. She gonna be 70 though. What's she gonna be? 50, 57? I'm trying to see what you're getting at. You think she's gonna be young and and here we're not doing it. Let me see you do that dance one time. Anyway, so he is taking a chop of these peppers. I have rinsed off. Rinsed is rinsed. I done rinsed off this chicken. I'm about to season that. You know they 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 say another trick is when you cutting onions, is to rinse it off with cold water before you actually cut it. And then go from there, you won't cry? That's a myth. I'm teary. No, I'm just playing. Now, for these little cuticles that's in this middle part. Cuticles? What should I do with those? Well, first of all, this whole thing is just an extra layer. I dare you to eat go. it. No. Nope. And then, if you want to rinse it off now, you can. But I did rinse it yesterday. Cut here. Mm-hmm. Cut here. Cut here, yeah. And then dice it. I have to rinse off this spinach before I season that so I can throw it in the peppers because it's important that we put the peppers in first. The chicken ain't going to take that long. So that's about done. Can y'all give us some um, cooking video option titles? We need some Kool-Aid. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I make the best Kool-Aid, you know? So if you think you can beat me in uh, making Kool-Aid, I suggest you quit early. <laughs> Cause I'm one of them killers on that Kool-Aid tip. Unless you like your Kool-Aid to taste like Gatorade. Now if you like to taste Kool-Aid as Gatorade, then you can just- You're not the one for the You're job. not the one for the job. Cause I'm, don't nobody want no Poway Kool-Aid. Hurry up with them onions so you can put it in this ground turkey. What you need? You need the. I need all everything. of that stuff to go in that turkey. I need $40. Just stir it up real nice. You can lift that pot up so I can get good. I don't know if y'all seen how that went into that plate. Real luxurious. If I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna make sure it's nice, baby. Dice, baby. No bat, baby. And see what the what the um what the what the what the cooks do? They take their little pinky. They just <laughs> shove. They just do all that. They make it look real exquisite. There's always one head in the group around in the vicinity. Use the spatula. The spatula's not clean. See, what I like to do is I like to scoop it and then flip it mm -hmm. so that it can mix with the juices and then the juices can mix with the juices and then the juices can mix with the juices. Mm -hmm. What you say, baby? So I usually like taking like a handful of this like this, mm -hmm. blow on it, ah. But God told me to 
black car rego. Put a little olive oil, put a little minced garlic and the skillet. That's that St. Louis in them. This. I know, they still listen Ooh. to um, Crank That Yank. Real seasoned. Gonna go ahead and throw that up in there. Do we have a drainer? Yes. It's in there. All right, babe. Would you rather swallow a hundred nails or put your face in a pie of somebody else's poop? Swallowing a handful of nails, so how many nails is gonna be? If I swallow them nails, I can die a couple days later from a puncture and stuff that's going down. Like, as soon as you go one time, it's gonna go down wrong. They might even get stuck in there. So, I even got all these holes on the inside of my body just pass <laughs> some boo boo. That's disgusting, but it might be the most reasonable. It might be the most reasonable. So my answer is, get that poop. Cause I can wash my face off, man. And I know that's disgusting, but I can wash my face off bleach. Them nails, I, I can die from that, man. I feel like that was a wild question. It was wild. I feel like the two options was too wild. They, they had to both be wild. I started off with one wild. So I had to go, go for it or go home. This one. No, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say nothing about that one. <laughs> Would you rather skydive or deep sea dive? Deep sea dive? I already done that. I said deep sea dive. That's not what we did. It ain't really, it wasn't really deep where we was at. Well, it was deep enough. Was we deep had enough. to go all the way out. Yeah. We did that for our honeymoon. Way, guys. Shout out to Punta Cana, man. They showed us a good time, man. Yeah, we have to wear this helmet that, oddly enough, when you go underwater, water doesn't go in the helmet unless you do something like what, lean forward or something. If you raise your head up or lower your head, like putting your head down into your chest, the water seep in. I swear, it was the scariest experience ever because. I want to look down and see when I'm walking, when I'm what's coming past me, swimming and stuff. And then the dude, the instructor, <laughs> I'm panicking. I'm scared of water. I'm scared of water and I'm scared of heights. It's two things I'm real scared of. The instructor was like, lift your head up. He's speaking some other language. So he talk about doing this because we had to learn different type of languages or sign languages almost in a way to just let them know if we was good. This was good. I think we was, this was bad. This was, uh, I don't know, doing this mean I'm ready to go up, um, whatever it was. But um, he was just like, lift your head up. And he like muffed my head to like get me to stand up. And I'm, the, the the mask pushing my nose down. My nose already like this. What you want to push on the folks more? It was fun though. It was a good experience. Great experience. I would recommend doing it. All right, so this is, this is pretty much cooked enough to go in the pepper because it still has to go in the oven. So honestly, it never really takes as long. It could be quicker having him if we weren't recording, but we are. I can go, um, I can go play Call of Duty. I gonna play Call of Duty now, baby. Now we're going to add the meat and all of the ingredients to the pepper. Are you putting the rice in the pot first? Okay. I'll leave the rice in there. Yeah, you put the rice in there. Come on, everything gonna get mixed into this one bowl.
I think this is one of the funniest utensils that we have in the kitchen. <laughs> Why? Then you're gonna take the cheese and put some in there. Can I use my hands stuff? Yeah. It's probably hot, but. I was just talking. Shout out to everybody who contributed, man, to the house, back. A lot of contributors. Maybe that'll be our next episode. I'm going down the list, man. Favorite, favorite, favorite items around the house. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Let us know how we did, how we doing, and what have we done before. <laughs> what have we done before? Need a lot more cheese than that. Hold on, just give me a chance to warm up. Okay. You know, this is uh, this is government cheese. Okay. Take a little minute to thaw out. Mexican restaurant. We like the the chicken bowl. They be skeet on the chicken though. Shout out to St. Louis for the skeet, man. Shout out to Lou Lingo, man. Lou Lingo. I said shout out the oh, Lou Lingo. Lou Lingo. You see how how you jump to conclusion? All right. Women, women, women. That's what you want to do? Oh, this is not a competition. That's the Scorpio in her, folks. Always compete. Me, on the other hand, I'm Cancer. Shout out to the Cancers, man. Shout, shout, shout out to the Summer Babies. You know how you rocking cut off, stop and keep good in our pocket and all design, man. Shout out to us, man. We the, um, the breadwinners, man. Everybody love us, man. They can't get enough of us, but we the most hated, man. We the most hated out of everybody, but everybody loves us, though. the most hated. People don't hate cancers. They just say cancers are emotional and sensitive. Yeah. Don't hate cancers. Why do they got to be a bad thing? Because everybody down talks people who are emotional. They all of a sudden they whining or they crying. That's we wouldn't be whining and crying if we didn't have to say the same stuff over and over. If we had to say the same stuff over and over, now we become the naggers or the criers or the wagners or whatever they're called. <laughs> Like, I don't be getting it. We got the biggest heart out of every sign out here. We will drop what we're doing every chance we get to make sure whoever it is that we try to look out for is good. Gemini's are probably hated worse. I like Gemini's, though. I like Gemini's, too. I like them. They be turned. They crazy. Them the wicked ones. They evil. And they know how to have a good time. And they be loose. Twin. Trip coming soon. Shout out to Mill. Shout out to Mill. I don't know any other Gemini's, I'm not really big on that um, Zodiac stuff, but I just want to feed into it real quick and then get up out of it. I got, I'm done. Can't do this cooking stuff too long. Well, what you, what you trying to leave the kitchen? I'll finish, bye. Look, that, that, that she goes, she mad talk. That's the mad talk. Hi, but she don't know I'm standing right here. Right here. She don't know I'm standing right here though. Ain't on the crumb, so it don't folks know. I know what the vibes is, man. I'll go. Hey, these. When are you gonna put the cream cheese in there? I was gonna mix it in the bowl, but it's way too much rice, and we don't have that much cream cheese, so I'm just gonna put. You should put the cream cheese in the bottom. And at the top. Two, two strips in there. To the middle, I did it. Leave it alone. You just trying to keep going. That's the middle. All right, all right. I don't use recipes. I kind of just do what I feel. So it might taste different. Do it be tasting different every time I make something of the same thing? No. Nah. Now you heard what she said. She does. She does what she feels. Now I want y'all to also go stream what I want on all social platforms. Hey. Post them. My social. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely stream that. Unless it's baking, I'm not too much using a recipe. Like, I'm going to try some different stuff or I'm going to use what I have in the crib. I feel like buying specific things for certain things is costly. So, if I got something else in the kitchen, that's what I'm going to use. Right, babe? Yeah. All right. So... Everything is done. I'm washing these dishes right now. Can okay. I do that? Go ahead. I'm not going to have this like this, Chief. So the extra cheese on top of each one. Get it nice and right. 
Hey man, shout out to Get Right Man Automotive Detail Cleaning, man. Shout out to everybody out there doing what they need to do, man. I had to get to it, man. You doing a lot of shout outs. Are y'all giving us any? They like, you have 10 views this little week. I'm crying. Uh, what are we giving you money for? Alright, and it's gonna go in the oven for like 30 minutes. Chicken is about done. Actually, probably cooked it a little bit too fast. But it's fine. You probably gonna play the game too, food. My God. We added a little rice at the bottom. A little queso on top to make it a little bit more cheesier. We're gonna do a small portion for the tasting because it's late. I don't know, you want a big plate, babe? No. I'm about to split one. Zuri! What's up, dude? 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 Damn. Careful, Mother. Yellow. This one right here. This one? Mm -hmm. No, it ain't contaminated. You hear that macaroni sound? Mm-hmm. Habanero sauce to mine. This ain't even habanero. This is habanero pepper sauce. <laughs> That's one. That's one you want. All right. Moment of truth. Let's get it. There Fine, you have it. One I made. There you have it, folks. Cooking with the savages. That's good. Stuffed bell pepper. A lot of stuff on the side, on the inside. Dude, that, dude, that sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> there you have it, guys. We in this bang, man. We end it out with this. Cooking with the savages. Don't forget to subscribe. Like, subscribe, comment, share, quote me. I know what the animica is.